Matanzas province, Cuba, June the 8th, 1982. On this day, it is reported concerning the war in the South Atlantic that the commander of the attacking British forces has called upon his Argentine counterpart to surrender. We are with the exiled Chilean director Patricio Guzman in the cane fields just east of Havana. With a crew made up of Cubans and Venezuelans, and with actors of several nationalities, he's shooting the final scenes for his first fiction film, The Compass Rose. We are here because we have undertaken a kind of aesthetic fact-finding mission. En posición de ataque. For 25 years, a new cinema has been developing in Latin America, carving out spaces for itself wherever it's had the slightest chance, growing up even in the most inimical circumstances. For this is a cinema devoted to the denunciation of misery and the celebration of protest. Our cinema, said the Committee of Latin American Filmmakers in 1977, is clandestine or semi-clandestine when circumstances and repression require it to be. Our cinema is alternative to the cinemas controlled by the transnationals and their local agents when its political content or the particular conditions of a country demand it.